and let's get into this video. This huge bag right here, it's all Sephora goodies. So let's get into this and I'll show you guys some of the hottest stuff right now, especially of what's in season. And I'm also gonna be using some of those makeup to just touch up my face because I've been wearing makeup all day. I'm using the Huda Beauty foundation stick and I just feel like a touch up is needed. I'm gonna take everything out of my bag. Okay, so the items that I got. So I was really intrigued in trying the Denissa Myricks, Myricks um, products. So I got right here the Duet Highlighting Facial Balm. So I'll just show you guys what that looks like. This is what it looks like right here. And this is really just giving yourself a dewy, glowy look. I like test it out on my hands never open anything with my nose okay <laughs> so this just gives like a whole slippery look so i'm just gonna show you guys and it has a nice shimmer on it so i'm so excited in trying that and i would use that on my cheekbones just to give myself a nice shimmery look or probably even with like no makeup just hydrating your face and then using this to give a nice glow so this is what it's giving guys Another one of her products that I wanted to try was her cream bronzer. So this is it right here. Um, I will open this. The color I got in this one was in Morning Dew. So there was three other colors as well. There was a clear one. Morning Dew has a bit of shimmer in it. And then there was a brown one with shimmers. But I said this one probably would work best in... Um, just because I felt like it was a little bit more natural. Um, so yeah, so this is why I got that one. And then I have her bronzer. And I took the color Deep. There was a medium one, but you know, I felt like Deep would have worked best. So for her bronzer, this is what it looks like. Packaging is nice. It's really simple, her packaging. Um, has a cute little mirror in it. And I'm just gonna try this because it does look like not dark enough but i'm just gonna try it on my skin because it is giving me a red oh wow so that's crazy look when you touch it look how dark it gets but when you don't touch it it's like giving me a lot of red tone and i don't want a red tone because i do have that already with the fenty bronzer so i'm running away from that and this one is a cream bronzer as well so two cream products wow so this is what it's giving guys this is so nice so nice it blends so nicely so i'm so excited to try this one as well so this is another one of my topics so moving on to other products that i really wanted to try that i wanted to get during this sale is the huda beauty mini powder so this is fairly new and i did do a video and i already tried this but i do want to show you guys how cool it is so it's small it's mini it's compact and it comes in three of their popular shades. Um, it has, I believe, um, I forgot the name of one. <laughs> but the darkest one would be Kanufa. And it's really just to touch up your highlighting areas. So it's really cool. I'll just show you guys. This is it closed. And then. So the sponge is already on the cover. So you would use that just to touch up and i think i'm just gonna touch up right now actually because i have been wearing makeup all day so the only thing that i don't really like care for about this is the fact that yes it's cool for touching up but if you do want to use it at home i just feel like it gets a little bit annoying because you would have to pour it out on your skin before applying it and that's not hard like i do that already with some of my products but i like my laura mercier um that I don't have to necessarily pour it everywhere to pour it. I just use it directly on the product. So just pouring it out, just because the opening is quite small, so it's quite harder to um, get the product. So just tapping it a bit on my hands. And I'll push that in with a sponge. Another one of the Huda Beauty products that I did get was the Bomb Brows Eyebrow Pencil. And the color I got for this one was Black Brown. So there is a darker color, however, I didn't want it too dark. The reason I did get this one was just because I did see a lot of videos and pictures that the liner would be super small and be perfect for detailing of the eyebrow lashes. And 
just gonna show you guys. Looks like I'm just gonna open it. Okay, yeah, it's super, super micro small. Oh my gosh. So this helps really if you wanna be detailed with your eyebrows. For the quantity, it isn't that much, but I don't feel like this product you would be using too much. It's really just for certain small areas that you really wanna get into. Another product that I did get was Esther Lodi. So this is one of my favorite foundations. I've tried a lot of them. I can't get enough of this one. It is quite pricey, however, the quality is amazing. I really stand by this product. I've tried Lancome, I've tried Too Faced. I love the Too Faced. If I don't use this, it's probably Too Faced. If not, it's probably Maybelline. But this one right here is seriously gold to me. And I don't really like, I'm, I'm stacking up so much on foundation and I'm not going anywhere because of this whole um, COVID. But just because the sale was going on, I wanted to just get this at a decent price because like I said, it is quite pricey. So this is the Double Wear and the color I have for this one is in Pecan. And I just feel like it's a perfect match for my skin tone. For Too Faced, I am the color. I actually have to mix two of them for Too Faced. I'm actually the color Chai and Tiramisu and in Maybelline I'm the color 355 and 360 so it's like coconut and coconut and I'm not sure what's the other one probably like mocha so so yeah usually I have to blend a bit but for this foundation I don't have to blend different foundations together the one shade works really good for me so I'll show you guys what that looks like as well so this is it only thing about it though for application you have to pour it out so you can use a lot more of it a lot faster than usual but that is not a big problem because the product is really great next for lips i got something from tower 28 so i never ever tried any of their products i believe they're like organic or something like that um green um but yeah i never tried any of their products and i just needed a lip gloss and I said why not give it a try because it was super popular. So this one is in the color Almond and I won't be trying it on today because I'm already wearing lipstick but this one right here is another good suggestion. This brand has been getting a lot of good ratings so definitely suggest this one as well. So I also got my hands on the Charlotte Tilbury bronzer. If you guys know this does cost quite a bit so getting it on a sale was a great deal for me. I believe it runs for like $65 Canadian which is a lot for some bronzer however it seems to last long because it's huge so it's so pretty it's like a clam and this is how big it is guys it's like the size of my head i'll give it a try maybe after um at the end of the video i got the color for this i think it was the darkest or maybe not it's the color deep so it probably is the darkest for deep so other products I wanted to get was from the Sephora collection because this time around with the sale they had 30% off Sephora products. So I made sure to get myself some brushes because I don't know if you guys are aware but Sephora has been killing it in the brush game right now and the quality and the price is just really good. So I got myself the 98 brush for a brush for underneath my eyes for powder and I just wanted something a little bit more smaller and concentrated. So I got the 98 brush and the 98 brush is usually for highlighter. It's so small and I just thought like for under the eyes it would just be perfect. Or I could also use it for concealer. I'll be trying it out in some videos so you guys can see how it works. So subscribe to my channel if you haven't yet already so you guys can see how this brush works out for that. So next brush that I got was the 50 brush. It's a powder brush and I saw people using it for bronzer and they were raving about it. So I wanted to try it out myself. So it's big, it's poofy. I do already have some bronzer on. I'm just gonna try a little bit more just to see what it gives. I'm loving this bronzer. It definitely is giving the sun kiss look. I feel like a nice, Hand. <laughs> tan look like I went on vacation so I'm really loving it and the brush too is really nice it really packs it on at the right area so the size is perfect for that and yeah I'm really loving this combination so I did not waste my money there so another applicator that I got was the Sephora blue adventurine facial roller and I really got this for skincare I never had one of these and I saw that the ratings were really good for applying your skincare so I just wanted to get it especially because I was getting 30% off of it so I'll be using this for my skincare routines I'll probably do a little bit more research to see 
what's the best ways of using it and I will be doing videos showing you guys that as well so stay tuned and subscribe for that as well next and I think this is the last item I actually have two other items coming um, I'll just show you guys right now I ordered it but I didn't receive it as yet so I had the Charlotte Tilbury face spray that's coming in so that's supposed to give me like a dewy look I always use my Urban Decay All Nighter Spray if not I use my Morph Mist and I just wanted something a little bit more dewy so I'm gonna be receiving that soon as well as I got the Bobbi Brown base cream and that's supposed to be good for your makeup application it's like a primer but it like smooths the skin very nicely so I will be doing videos using those two products as well and I'll let you guys know if they're good products or not so yeah subscribe for that as well the last product that I'm gonna be showing you guys that I've waited so long I've probably waited like over like three years to get it is or two um, is this right here from Pat McGrath it's so heavy so it was worth the coins it did cost quite a bit so if you could buy it on sale on discount on anything from someone definitely do because it is pricey guys I feel guilty it is super pricey I'm just gonna open it up for the first time and I really did not look at it yet and this is how it comes it's so so pretty the packaging is so nice okay oh my gosh it feels like uh, okay, I'm gonna put a little effect in this right now. Ready? One, two, three. Uh, um, okay, so this is amazing. It's heavy. It's like it's like metal in the back. Oh my gosh. Okay. So first time opening it. Oh my gosh, it's so beautiful. Okay, guys. This how it looks and I cannot wait to do looks with this product guys I've researched and checked out a lot of the palette that they do have and I just thought that for someone who's gonna be buying one for now this was probably the best one to get for myself I will do um, another video probably like focusing more on the palette and doing some swatches because the swatches should be and will be amazing I just know it um, I'll just try like I'll just swatch one because I'm really like I really want to swatch it so I will swatch I will swatch I'll swatch it this one right here and oh my gosh look at that okay I'll swatch one more just one more I will swatch I feel like a kid in a store in a candy store I feel like my camera is always like too bright for you guys to see what it's actually given but it's definitely giving and I'm just so excited to just try it and give myself some looks. The packaging is super solid. This is probably why it costs so much because this is so heavy. Definitely excited about this. But yeah, I really love all my products. I don't want to say how much I spent on all of this. But I'm really happy about all my products, especially this right here. So that's the end of the haul. I think I bought enough, guys. Stay tuned for the looks that will be coming with these products. And like, share, and subscribe. If you have any questions about shades, about what you guys should get, or anything like that, don't hesitate in writing down below. Please like, share, and subscribe, and stay beautiful.